for these questions, we need to find a fraction of a number. Now we know how to find a unit fraction of a number, so a fraction with a numerator of 1. If the numerator is 1, you can find a fraction of a number just by dividing by the denominator. So if we were finding 1 fifth, we would just divide by 5. Finding 1 sixth, we would just divide by 6. And finding 1 eighth, we would just divide by 8. But in these fractions, the numerator is larger than 1. That means that we can still start by dividing by the denominator, but then we need to take our answer and multiply by the numerator. The way I remember this is divide denominator times top. So first we have 2 fifths of 30. We can start by dividing by the denominator, so dividing 30 by 5, that gives us 6. And then we can take that 6 and multiply it by the numerator, so times top. And 6 times 2 is 12, so that's our answer. Now we need to find 5 sixths of 24. So we can start by dividing 24 by 6, so divide denominator. That gives us 4, because 4 times 6 is 24. But then we need to take that 4 and times top, so multiply by the numerator. 4 times 5 is 20, so that's our answer. And finally, we have 3 eighths of 24. So 24 divided by 8, so divided by the denominator, is 3, because 3 times 8 is 24. But then we need to take that 3 and multiply it by the numerator, so times top. And 3 times 3 is 9, so that's our answer. So let's think back to this first question. We needed to find 2 fifths of 30. So for 2 fifths, we can show a fraction bar divided into 5 parts, and we're finding 2 fifths, so we can colour in 2 of those parts. Now the number we were finding 2 fifths of is 30, and if we share out 30 counters between our fifths, you can see that we have 6 counters in each of our fifths, and that's why we divided by the denominator. So 30 divided by 5 told us there were 6 counters in each fifth, but we were finding 2 fifths, so we needed to multiply that 6 by 2 to get 12. And if you look, we have a total of 12 counters in the shaded area of our fraction bar, so that's our answer. Then we needed to find 5 sixths of 24. So to show 5 sixths, we can split our fraction bar into 6 parts, and we find 5 sixths, so we can colour in 5 of those 6 pieces. If we share out 24 counters between the sixths, we can see that we have 4 counters in each of our sixths, and that's why we did 24 divided by 6 to get 4. But that's 1 sixth, and we needed to find 5 sixths, so we multiplied that 4 by 5 to get 20. And you can see that we have 4 in each of our sixths, but because we have 5 sixths, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 counters in our shaded section, so our answer is 20. Finally, we had to find 3 eighths of 24. So we can split our fraction bar into eighths, and we're finding three eighths. Now, if we share out 24 counters, then you can see that we have three counters in each of our eighths, and that's why we divided 24 by eight to get three. But we have three eighths, so we needed to multiply by three to get our answer of nine. And you can see that we have a total of 9 counters in the shaded area of our fraction. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or 
go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.